How's it going everyone? My name is Hugh and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up for a car vlog without GoPros using handheld cameras, gaffling tape, and a phone. Here are the materials you will need for this project. Camera, or cameras, a 3 foot long extension cord, gaffling or duct tape, and obviously you need a car. First thing, you want to open your door because otherwise you cannot do absolutely anything. Then find out where you want to put your dual camera setup, huh? Now, if you have a DSLR camera like I do, I'll show you how you can set that up. For now, we're just going to be starting out with this, or this, or this. So what you want to do is you want to try to find out where you want to put one of these devices, your phone, this little camera, little Nikon camera that I have here. Or if you have a smaller camera that's about 720p, you don't really need a high quality camera. Because uh, when I first started, I just used this, like a 720 Coolpix camera. If you have higher quality, go nuts. But I'm gonna show you how to do it with a one of these guys first. This is probably would be a camera that you would normally use uh, for uh, pictures and stuff or vlogging. All right, so. Let's say you want to put it right here or something, right on that dash. Uh, if you don't have a microphone like I do, so you just want to set up like right there. Or you want to have one off to the side, like right here, sitting on your dash maybe. So it's facing towards you. That's fine too. Uh, if you want to have a dual camera set up, what I do is have this, uh, this what rubber band here on your uh, mirror thing here. And you could stick your phone, well, Preferably your phone, something like that, and then just take some uh, tape and just hold it there on that spot, and then you can actually do this. And then your camera will be facing out your front window, and you can actually have a camera here to record your face. Fail. <laughs> Take two or one single rubber band and put it around the mirror thingy. Next, take your phone and take two strips of duct tape or gaffling tape and put it on your phone, but be careful not to block your front view camera. Then stick your phone through the rubber band or rubber bands. Okay, so I just want to point out something that uh, my dash here is a uh, sticky list, if that makes sense. Because the way that it's designed, you can't get anything stuck on here. So this, see, it, you can't put the tape on it like so because it won't stick. But if your dash is like, uh, is not this mesh, well, it's not really mesh. It's more like a plastic kind of thing. But there's a design on this that prevents anything from sticking on it. However, if you have a car that doesn't have this and you can be able to stick tape to it, great. You get then all the power to you. But be careful because that will leave like little crap, you know, bits and pieces of tape, sticky stuff on your dash. So just be careful which kind of type tape that you use depending on what your dash is made of. For your dash cam, go ahead and place your camera where you want it to be. Then roll up a bit of duct tape or grappling tape and place it on the bottom of the camera. If you're using the DSLR camera with the Rode microphone, place the microphone where you would like to put it. Then take two strips of gaffling or duct tape, place it on the bottom of the connecting shoe. What the f do you call that? Take two sheets of tape and put it on the bottom of the thing. God! Place your DSLR camera with your LCD screen open and figure out where you want to put that camera. Then take a uh oh my god and then 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 take a roll of gaffling tape or duct tape and put it on the bottom of the camera then place it on the dash you can now take the three foot long extension cord and plug your microphone into your camera
Might want to tuck in that extra cable right on top of the dash there. Yeah, there you go. And there you go. So you just gotta make sure you do your positioning and camera focusing uh, before you go out driving because I want you guys to be safe when you're doing this. Because uh, some people can do it on the go. Me personally, I do it on the go. That's why I do this setup quite a bit. I have my camera here, my DSLR or your Nikon or your little camera that you have, anything that you have on you. Uh, just be able to use it uh, for anything. If you don't have a mic set up like I do, improvise. Uh, you know, the best thing about doing these tutorials is creativity. You know, I just figured this stuff out on my own and I like sharing it with you guys uh, in case you guys wanna do something basic and you don't wanna do anything too crazy. But yeah, I got my camera here. I got my phone recording over here. Uh, it's on the little mirror so I can be able to flip it to the front and also I can flip it this way. So like you, you can get uh, a side view of me instead of just looking out the front window all the time. If you guys like the video, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Or if you want to see another tutorial video, feel free to let me know what it would be. And I will see you goons later. Dual cameras.